Gender equity in sports is required by law. Know and exercise your rights. Why does this matter? Overall, girls who play sports get better grades and have higher standardized test scores than non-athletes. Athletes are more likely to graduate high school and go on to college than those who don't play sports. Research shows that girls who play sports in high school earn 7% more wages than their non-athlete peers. It's really important for me to see gender equity in sports, especially comparing myself and some boy relatives that I have that have gone on to play collegiate athletics. I feel myself saying, I can do that, but I'm going to do it on the women's side of things. I can get the same equipment. I can play at the same facilities, work out at the same facilities. That is my goal. And with Title IX, that I can do that. I cannot imagine my life without sports. I'd say it would be incomplete. There would be something missing. Having physical activity, having a set time where you do things, it helps you with structure, and it just, it helps regulate my life. I definitely want to play sports just as much as my brother wants to. Just because we're different genders doesn't make anything different. Title IX is a federal law that applies in California and throughout the nation that says there can be no discrimination based on gender in public schools. This means no unequal treatment of boys and girls in educational programs, including athletics. The law applies to all public elementary, middle, and high schools, including charter schools, colleges, and universities. The law requires looking at the entire athletic program, not just one or two teams, to see whether girls and boys have equal treatment and benefits throughout the program. For example, girls and boys must have equal field quality, gyms and locker rooms, quality and number of coaches, equipment, and scheduling of games and practice times. The law requires schools to oversee booster clubs, sports fundraising, and donations to ensure that equal resources are enjoyed by girls and boys alike. Boys and girls must have equal participation in school sports. So if there are 1,000 students at a school, 500 girls and 500 boys, and 100 of those students play on a school sports team, that means that 50 of those students should be girls and 50 of those students should be boys. The law also prohibits retaliation against a student, coach, or parent who talks about Title IX or requests equity in their school sports program. If you talk to someone, like a principal, because you think your school isn't following Title IX, you should not be disciplined for taking action. Another important law for equity among girls and boys in sports is AB 2404, the Fair Plain Community Sports Act. The Fair Play Act is a California law similar to Title IX. It requires equal treatment of boys and girls in community youth competitive athletic programs hosted by Parks and Rec departments. The Fair Play Act also applies to private sports programs that use park and rec facilities, like club soccer. Look around. Does your park program or school treat girls equally in comparison to boys? If you see inequality in your sports program, take action and speak up. Gender equity in sports is required by If you need help, you can contact Fair Play for Girls in Sports, a product of the Legal Aid Society Employment Law Center.